Welcome back guys to Tales of Asperia 1, reaching the top of Castle Zafia's last episode we faced off against Alexi who sent the puppet like Estelle against us. Her sense of self worn away, we beat her, only for Alexei to enact his plan, raising the enduring shrine of Zord in the depths of the ocean. Leaving Estelle behind to stall us, Yuri took her on to fulfill her wish, but thankfully she snapped out of it with her pure desire to live, finally bringing our friend back into the fold. With the party now rested up and reconvening after events, and Bao back to his flying Self, sub events now await us as we start with a treasure and giganto hunt. Right, let's go in and look for some treasure and avoid this gigantic beast of a monster that's right there in front of me before I get to save. Saving would be a great idea right now, to be honest. Maybe we could give it a go. A giganto monster. In fact, there's a few we have to complete or defeat. In the desert, of course, there's another one. Let's return to the field map a second and then, like, go onwards. It's quite a lot of enemies that will be further forward from us. Uh, I kind of would like spell cast a Rita in if things are going like that though, however, so let's eat, yeah, let's eat a croquet. Great tempura recipe as well, hey hey! I'll take it. Right, we now have tempura. Who, who can make tempura into something else? Let me look at my new list of things that I have to cook. To make some stuff. It doesn't seem that anyone needs to cook tempura. I thought someone did. Well, that's cool. Another one learnt. Another one bites the dust. We're all good. No more tempura cooking. Got the recipe. Don't even need it. Magic attack greatly though. I'll take that. Well, vegetable. Just any vegetable to make tempura. Remember having that. Right, let's save. And then see what happens next day. Eh? Let's save further down. Man, I'm actually, why are the recipes actually proccing this time? That's the bit that disturbs me the most in a weird way. Actually, Carol. No, I don't want to be Carol. I forgot, we got Flynn. Let's get Flynn in here. Come on, Flynn. That looks like quite a mega party. You get the extra healing from Flynn when Flynn wants to heal, but you've got like the combat in the meantime. You've got Rita there, and they speed up spell casting when they're there. Let's find out how strong this thing is. Hope for not a game over. And see if I have to run away within two seconds. I'm like level 45, remember? So let's see what level this guy is. Doable? Weak to stone. It just flattened Estelle and flattened me and messed me up. Even though I'm defending, it's not really helping me here. Is everyone healing at the moment? I think so. No, block! Even though I break through the shield, he still gets me. Let's put him down. That gives people time to heal and cast other spells. I can't hit him! There we go. Uh oh! I missed! What's he doing? Bombing? Ow! I don't want to get hit! What if he has a Mystic Heart? Even though I'm out of like... I feel like I'm so out of range! There we go, there's some revenge. Oh. Come down here, you bad beastie! I managed to dodge the healing circle. Oh, up now. Stop! Dodge! <laughs> This guy's just annoying! If I didn't have Rita in here, I'd not be getting any hits! Stop! <laughs> yes, use an ult up. There we go, I got some hits in. 60k HP is down. It's time to top up your TP, I think, madam. Well, I defend some a little more here. I think Rita's just been killed. No, no, Rita's still alive. Damn it, I can't do it. Rita, stay down! Everyone's looking to heal. Every time I break the thing... Oh, 
Oh, she can do what now? Nightingale? Oh, did she learn Nightingale properly? That seems pretty good, if she did. I really need you to hit with that. But you're not going to, are you? This guy is so annoying. Ah, lasers! Still! Get away from the evil thing! Couldn't bring it down even if I wanted to. It's missing everyone currently, though. And we made Grand Chariot Myth now. I was about to say, we don't want to be standing in front of him. Oh, I just managed to freeze his attack for a second. Ooh, I nearly walked into that laser. Right, so we've taken 100k. Yeah, spread zero, that's fine. So now because she's got Nightingale separately, it seems. You suck. I can't, like, chain you. Oh, lasers. I hate this guy. Essentially, I need... Flynn to do something, essentially. Flynn to get in there and do some damage. Would be the ideal thing for me right now. Sam called it a bad beastie. What? I'm not crazy. Let's use a limit ball. Alright, here we go. Don't do this when I'm trying to do my abilities, man! Why do you hate me? How do, why do you hate me this much? It's a bad idea to try and use that. Ah! I think it's me. Get me up here! This thing's just bombing us to death! Not again! Oh, I'm so glad I stayed down rather than bounce back up again. You never let me hit you! I think I need to change my down attack. I think Raging Blast is rubbish. Alright, we've got him to a weakness strike point, but we need to hit him a bit more to be able to actually KO him with it. So let's try to go a little bit more and then use one. No, I'm, I'm there! I'm there! Just hit him! No, you killed him! I mean, yeah, we killed him! <laughs> Conflicted. Well, we finally beat the Terror Bronk. I was trying to get that Fatal Strike, and then she killed him anyway. Well, still a ways to go, but we've beaten yet another beastie. Oh, we also got two skits showing up. Still a ways to go, and Carol's sidekick. Good work. Yeah, get some rest. You did well. Who are you talking to, Carol? <laughs> Don't startle me like that! I'm sorry. Did you hear that just now? Yeah, we heard it. You talk to your sword? It cuts better when I do that. Actually, we just won this battle because I gave my sword lots of encouragement before. Really? Whatever floats your boat. Well, that was unexpected. What? Nothing. Thank you for all the work you do. We can't wait to see how well you perform next time. It must be tough having such an unreliable owner. You're the only one we can count on. Um... Uh, good luck next time. Wow, thanks, guys. I'll bet my attack power will double in the next battle. Don't Ugh. get carried away. Be funny if it did. Right, well, whatever that all is all about. That's fine by me. But why else we're here is to uh, start using this to knock down some of those walls we saw. Ah, loads of ladies complimenting this sword, eh? Holy bottle time. Ah! I don't really want to fight things in here is the thing. We want to kind of just break through here because we've already fought things before. The problem is, it's like, they're still going to be blocking my way for the most part. 
All right, how to get round to these specially secrety areas. That's what we want to know. It's what we want to find as well. So let's use holy bottles as we go. Doesn't matter. It's in the way. Was he even the bell? No. Well, at least keep your eyes on my sword actually works this time. We got bees. I mean, all these should die pretty easy and barely do any damage to us. So you just want our guys to just melee and not really cast any spells. We want to dodge pretty much everything we're fighting. And let the TP regain at the end of battles. But in the meantime, we can keep cooking stuff to try and unlock more recipes. So that's not too bad. Hey, now we finally unlocked it. Still a ways to go. But in the meantime, before we do that, now we can do this. What are you writing? Item names? Yes, I'm working on the collector's book. Look how many items we have already. Wow, you filled in a lot. It must be fun since you like books so much. Well, keep up the good- No, from what I can see, yes. It looks like it's only about halfway complete. What? H halfway Keep on working on it and come back when you've made some real progress. Uh, uh, I'll fill this book up all the way and then I'll make you eat your words. Didn't this used to be your book, Rita? Well, yeah, but now we've got the close book 50%, we can see ourselves another event further on. Back in Aspio, if you remember, it's one I went through before, and it's like, oh yeah, done that one. Can't get another event there. But in the meantime, we did get ourselves a golden helm. We do have some golden helms on some people, but I'm pretty sure we didn't have it on everyone. So I think the one we're missing it on is you, sir. But these items, this is the point of time in the game where we can get these items unlocked, if you know what I mean. Did we fought a flying bunny before? Oh, another golden horn from Rigbro. Uh, hey, you, come down here! I don't remember flying bunnies. Weirdo flying bunnies. Let's keep grabbing the goodies. Holy ring. Occasionally restores 1% of where is maximum HP. <laughs> Why'd they put the big enemies there so I can't skip them? I think that guy's dead, yeah? Well, just about. I get TP from defeating enemies after all as well, so... May as well abuse that after all. Actually, these enemies still hurt a little bit. Love how everyone's trying to march in and get them, though. No more melee's fine. Yes, the book hit! Victory calls, and I come. As you will. Yes. I'm glad we won. Just because you want to do high fives, yeah? It's pretty much because you want to do high fives. Oh, another skits appeared in the meantime, but we also learnt some stuff there. So let's see if anyone's completed a weapon. Well, Panny's about to complete Super Chain 5, but it looks like everyone's still going on that, but money goes round? Did we get money, did we? Money seems to disappear before you know it. It does. No, it disappears because you use it. It does. Sure, but if you only use a little at a time, you don't realize how much you're spending. Yes. I guess we've been spending a little too much. Mm. What do you mean? We need to spend more. Really? But why? The more gold we spend, the more it comes back to us, and it brings its friends, too. R really? How interesting. Huh? Rita, your name's on this money. Exactly. I've been writing my name on our gold so we'll know when it comes back to us. And when it does come back, I bet it'll have doubled at least. So go on, use it. <laughs> what a lovely little fairy tale. Yes, what? <laughs> Where are you getting that from, lady? It's not going to suddenly, like, divide into two coins, for example. What's with you? I'm pretty sure we must have already fought these buddy things then. Alright, what else treasures can I get along the land? You're <laughs> a smart Pearson Rita, you're not very smart? Well, we don't like to be mean. But... Yes. Let's break these ruins. <laughs> Doesn't look like anywhere here is where I need to go. Let's go on to the next screen. 
Gotta get these treasure chests after all. Who knows what goodies we can find. There's gonna be several areas like this as well, like, uh, well, right over here's one. But areas we've gone through before. And we can obviously get ourselves some more stuff as so we get Overdrive Lady, slightly different from riding on the wall. Riding on the ground can be nice too. Another attachment for repeat that we cannot see because he's currently Jojoed up. Anything else I can break through over here? I mean, it looks like I could hit that. <laughs> Knock that down too. Or are we at the end? There's still a little bit more climbing to go after all. I don't know if you're the type of person uh, that you're watching. Who wants to get every item on the way. Everything they can get everywhere. I got a chamomile, magic attack by one. Are you a grown up kid though? Can we break that by the way? That up there, that looks interesting to me. Hey, do you mind if I have a gel? Carol, I don't really think you should eat those unless you need them. But I can't stop thinking about how good they taste. Or the smooshy way they feel between my teeth. I noticed we've had fewer gels lately. You've been snacking on them, haven't you? I want them so badly I can't sleep. And here you've been eating them while we weren't looking? I haven't been doing anything like that. Wait, Rita, you were losing sleep over gels? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> what are you talking about? They're not snacks, you know. They might be small, but they're pretty expensive. I can't say I like their taste or texture very much. Perhaps they're not too pleasing to a princess's palate. No, that's not it. I don't think they're that good either. I'm addicted to their simple taste. You just don't get it. Gels were made sweet and soft, so they'd appeal to children after all. Are you saying my sense of taste is childish? What's the matter with that? You are both children. They are both indeed. A child, a child's treat. It's that realization that you Rita's only 15. Bang! Now I'm worried about what I've missed. Great raptor beak, a gigantic beak from an enormous bird. It makes a good weapon, but there is a stench. What? It's a moldy raptor beak. <laughs> Gonna make a really smelly weapon. Sounds a bit weird to me. I'm just gonna hit all the walls. Well, that looks like it will carry me back, so that's kind of cool. But up here, is there anything too? Yes, it's a little bit something something, right? No, maybe? No, that's the thing we already found up there. Oh. This is where the holy bottle's gonna weigh out just now. And then the rabbit's gonna get me! What is in Bowel's old chamber? The chamber of evolution. Pretty much nothing, wasn't it? Pretty much. So as I stand, understand it, this green swirl here should be taking me back. Move to the nearest exit or move backwards to find the other goodies. I'm okay with what we got. There's definitely more stuff in there. Ah, but Estelle comes back. So now we've got the gang back together. I'm so glad to be with you all again. Same here. Likewise. You must take care not to strain yourself. Remember, there's a limit to what we can do. You know, one step at a time. I... Huh? What's up? I think Rapide just welcomed me back. No, Rapide's already off over there. Should have seen that coming. Poor Stell. He likes you really. Right. Ah, do you know what? Let's get the stuff. I mean, it's stuff that's probably not that important either way, just based on the fact that you'll get the stuff anyway from other monsters. But obviously there's a, something I've missed. I can see in the chat there. Oh look! Pterobrock respawned! Ah! A monster! Supposedly it's a rare spawn rate for giganto monsters you defeated to respawn. That rare spawn rate hit dead on. We don't want to be fighting things, we want to be moving on. There's so many places to go and see. Right, who's next? You next. Yeah, we're done. This is basically our grinding time at this point. Alright. So from here, we want to get past you, but we can't. 
So this sucks. This is why I didn't really want to go back through to get those things. Sorry, but you're going bye bye. Here comes the wiggly man. Can you take out the other ones, Flynn? That would help me more than anything else. I think I've got a bit too much of what I consider. You're as stiff as ever. That's why you such good friends. What? Doesn't sound it to me. Oh wow, well. and now not just the seller's back, but also Baola's back. This is the skit gaming moment. It looks like Baola's back to his old self. There's plenty of air for him to absorb. He seems to have used it to heal his wounds. For all the trouble Alexei's caused, he's helping us out in some unexpected ways. That's not gonna get him off the hook though. He can go wherever he likes. With Baul to help us, there's no place we can't follow. That's true. Helps to have a gigantic, powerful beast taking you around the place. Probably shouldn't call him a beast, though. Alright, where is there more Sid secret hidden walls? They must be obvious in terms of marking. So how did I miss it? There's one. Dark Star Gem, a unique stone known as the Star Gem. It constantly glows black. Dem chat. Light Star Gem. Hot and cold. We're gonna play it. But the skits, yeah, they really are on a roll. But how do I get out of here about these stupid, stupid things? We all know hot and cold from Xenoblade. Yeah. <laughs> Even though now we were on a two second or three second delay versus the whatever delay it was before. Oh. Spam Guardian Field so I learn it. Hey, it's working. I thought that guy was going to tap me in the back and he didn't bother. Then he did. Well, that guy's nearly out by the look of it. Well, we got Overheat 2. That Hot and Cold lasted an hour. A little bit. Don't mess with that all day. When someone as strong as Pharaoh tells you not to go messing with Zada, it makes you wonder. I wish he'd use regular words when he talked, though. Definitely. If it's really all that dangerous, you'd think he'd want to make himself clear. Maybe it was something Pharaoh had difficulty expressing in his own way. He did take the time to warn us. That shows at least some concern for our well-being, right? You mean that maybe he's warmed up to us a bit? Yes. Maybe he has. Maybe he's friendly now. Let's just get out of here ASAP. We've still got one more impassable monster to break through. Damn the impassable monsters. Think Paterabon could be on screen again? Oh, he did respawn after all. Just let me pass, man! Man, could you be any weaker? Let us take a caution. Well, I guess at least we're learning stuff. I mean, Rita learned something recently as well. So we should check that out. Oh, I just messed that. Oh, well. I feel like changing Yuri's arts up a bit anyway for some of the cool flashy stuff would be a good idea right now. Just help me melee him. Life will be good after that. Keep making some beef bowls, see what else we can get, but that's the last impassable. But we got another skit, so our time here getting treasure chests hasn't really hurt us. Potato Rock's not there. We got loads of fresh new content as we went. Looking at Flynn, I can say, there's a knight captain. But it's really hard to picture Raven in charge of a bunch of knights. I don't think it's possible until he gets rid of that shady aura he carries around. It could be that he's only concealing his knightly dignity to complete his disguise as Raven. I don't know if he and Dignity have even been in the same room together. <laughs> Captain Schwan was a man of grace and honor. His skills were renowned, which kept him on constant secret missions. 
Every knight knew his name, and nearly everyone envied his ability to carry out his duties with poise. Huh? Is that true? And while he was scrupulous, he knew how to care for those under him, so he always had their trust. After seeing three of them, I can see he was well-liked. The more I hear about him, the further he seems from that old man. That's why I'm telling you, I'm not Schwan. Yeah. When did he get here? Listen to yourselves, carrying on as though nobody's around. But sometimes you do say things that Captain Schwan would. You continue to carry his quality, however quiet. Not that off, would you? He just wants to be a free person! Stop being mean to him! The different repeat voice always speaks you. <laughs> well, finally we got out of there again. Which does give us one more location nearby to check out, because we beat one giganto monster and all that. There is one other around, if you remember. We've got to go to Mantake at some point in time. Hey, 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 hey. You could just let me in here, right? I gotta go round. I don't wanna go round town. No! Let me up! Where are you? Baul! Baul! Get up here, Baul! Can I not land here? I'll land here then. Yeah, enter the desert. That's what we wanna do. Now, at this point, when I think about it. Should I take a quick rest? Just to get some TP back before we go fight another Giganto. Would be a clever idea. So then you're on patrol tonight, right Yuri? Yeah. Thanks, see you in the morning. Good night. Oh, where'd they find this nice green area in the desert? Yeah! Who's there? Ah, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. It's alright. Rather, I'm sorry if I woke you. You didn't. I got up because I wanted to train a bit too. Then why don't we train together? Really? Awesome! But, Flynn, you're already so strong. Why are you sacrificing sleep to train? I was just reminded of exactly how powerless I truly am. If I'm going to change the Empire, then I have to make sure I'm up for the task. I have to work hard to instill in myself strength that is utterly unshakable. You're not just talking about strength with a sword, are you? No, you need mental strength just as much. As you train with a sword, you must train your convictions so they are just as sharp. Strength that lacks conviction is just violence. I see, so with rock solid conviction, you can beat any odds. <laughs> are you here to help too, Rapide? Woof! Everyone's here. Maybe I'll put this old body through its paces for once, too. I'd be happy to duel you in a friendly bout, Raven. Nice end up fighting more than one person at a time, right? Taking us all on at once would be better practice. Aye, villains do tend to swim in schools. Judith, Pay, you're up too? Mind if we join in? Not at all, but why are you all here? Personally, I just wanted to try my hand against yours. If you're after the leader, aim for his horse. I'd say this is typical for you two, but then again, nothing ever is. <laughs> Whatever your reasons, it doesn't matter. Thank you. How strange, thanking us when all we've done is having to have the same interests. Indeed. Now then, shall we get started? Guess I better keep my nose out of this, huh? You could go to sleep at this point in time. Honestly, everyone should just go back to bed. That goes for you too, you know. Flynn has learned the dazzling spin, arcane art. And fighting them all at once, he just span around like a typhoon, maybe. That's my head cannon for that. Well, let's get another save on, but we got another skit now as well. Because when do they ever stop, you know? I'm gonna go fight ourselves another Giganto. That's probably when we're most at our peril. But Ashwan? What's Ashwan? Schwan? Raven? Hmm? What you need, lad? I know this is a subject you would like to avoid, but I want to ask you something as a knight. Why would Schwan obey Alexei's orders, is it? I cannot believe Captain Schwan would be so blind as to miss the nefariousness of Alexei's deeds. You put too much stock into Schwan. His head was as empty as a tin soldier's. 
The Schwan that would fulfill his duty like a puppet died a decade ago. That would not change, even if he knew what he does now? Well, I don't think he would have seen a Blasty of that size coming. But he still might have followed Alexei to the last. But you never can know, can you? Is the reason you wish to settle things now because you have chosen to live as Raven? There are some folks who took this old man seriously. So I guess I can't die just yet. If I'm gonna live on, then I've gotta make up for what Schwan. So a fortuitous encounter changed you. That's putting it a bit dramatically. A little bit. Alright, let's enter the desert to fight ourselves another giganto monster. Been a while since we've done it, after all. We didn't have to, uh... Check out any of the cactuses anymore, which is quite nice. Should I put on a holy bottle just in case? To me, it looks like I can just leg it through, to be fair. Maybe I'm too high level for these ones now. Now, it was on the second screen, right? Or was it on this screen? It was on the left-hand side of it, if I remember correctly. Oh, we get to talk about Sodium Witcher, sure. Won't we run into another pile of trouble when the knights catch up and you're with us? I won't be laughing if we mess things up before we can deal with Alexei. That young woman knight will be difficult. What will you do about her? She's put me on too high a pedestal. I believe that a line can be drawn between good and evil in this world. And she thinks that you're the one who can draw that line. But reality is not so simple. Right. I hope she realizes that soon. I have a feeling she will. Sounds to me like she's got blinders on. Yeah, I think Applehead will catch on faster. Yuri, you really shouldn't call him that. Witcher is an exceptional mage who represents the future hopes of Ospio. Hmm. Him? Hadn't you heard? I guess I just wasn't interested. Now that I think of it, I think he may have been more on the ball than the others. Even after our request for assistance expired, he continued to aid myself and other knights. He is earnest and dedicated. You care about your crew, Flynn? I'm sure you're a top-rate captain. He is. Now, what was the guy over here called again? Medusa. Was he on the first screen or the second screen, this guy? I'm completely confused now. I think it was on the second screen. On the left. And it wasn't too far up. But we shouldn't be able to see him. It. But it should be somewhere around, nearby. Uh, obviously, I've got to go more to the right to go up first. No, 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 no. It's this side. There it is. I can see its tail. Finally, I found you. It took some time, though. Now, if I'm right in saying, we should be around the right level for you this time. In fact, you're exactly our level. Medusa Butterfly has been found. Now to do battle. Yeah, someone aid me by being at the front. Why are you knocking away from everything, Flynn? I don't mind knocking him down a little bit, Flynn, but what you're doing is not the way to go. We need him up to do damage. Well, we'll take everything on there. This guy's being destroyed. I meant to use the whole thing. Right, that's taking a bit of his HP down, isn't it? But now he's not going to stagger, so... He's just going to be annoying, so let's move him away from people. And you still got hits in. That's a nice combo you've got. London Hell! When you go at it, you really do! What the hell? Okay, let's try to get this guy with a weakness strike, shall we? How close are we? 18715? What the hell? She dropped a load of power hammers on him. I mean, the guy's not even standing. Oh, someone... She did a fatal strike on him from massive range, didn't she? That's what's happened. The power hammers dropping was her fatal strike, right? That was so easy. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Well... 
14,000 experience, 9,500 in gold. We'll take that. So many levels as specials being learned to Fair Raven as well. Right, there's another one defeated. The Elven Bow is completely learned at last, so now it's time for him to start going through the rest. Uh, why not go through the Falcon Needle, I guess? Considering it's not a plus one. We're grateful to Yoda, are we? For what? Obviously, for giving us Flynn. It seems Yoda understands your feelings, Flynn. If His Highness has got your back, you've got no choice but to charge forward. <laughs> yes, I shall not disappoint him. I didn't think he'd order you to go with us and stop Alexei. That little prince, I thought he was just a softy. But he's got sharp eyes. Idealism alone won't get you very far. But if he can make clever moves like that, he'll be a fine emperor. We'd all be in trouble if he couldn't. An eye for the big picture, the ability to use the right people, and noble intentions. A whole package like that is pretty rare. Don't worry. I have faith in Yoda. <laughs> anyway, Yoda told us to take you with us. So I hope you're ready for back-breaking work. Of course. I shall not waste His Highness's favor. Good. Then let's go. Back breaking work! That sound excited about that, somehow. Doesn't sound fun to me. Let's go this way. I can't slip down. Oh. Well, if we go back to the middle section, I can use the green pin to walk our way out again. I think next destination should be Aspio, considering we've got the collector's book 50% now. At this point, by the way, we're only at the tip of the iceberg for things to do. And in fact, if you want to challenge another Giganto, we could hang around Dayton Hold for a bit. So, where am I going? The library, I think. This is not in my list. This is something that you could do way earlier in the game. Uh, likelihood of you getting 50%. By then, isn't it so much unless you're doing a uh, second playthrough? Ah, uh, excuse me. Oh, no, excuse me. Here, you dropped this book. Oh, yes, thank you very much. The collector's book, eh? Yours contains an impressive amount of data. It seems you've found lots of rare items. This is quite intriguing. Oh, it is? Reed is always saying how we haven't found nearly enough. <laughs> if it wouldn't be too much trouble. I yes? Do you think I might be able to borrow this book for a short while? If I had one month, no, even two weeks, that would be enough. Please, please let me borrow it. Ah, uh, well... No, you can't. That's too long anyway. Ah, uh, Mordio, you, you know this young lady? Yeah, I know you don't want to hear this, but we can't give you the book yet. Why? We still haven't completed it yet. If you'd like to look at it, wouldn't a complete book be better anyway? We don't want to have to lend it to you every time we make an update either. Uh, I... I see, yes. Then once you finish filling in that book, allow me to borrow it for a bit. Of course, I don't expect you to lend it to me for nothing. Oh, you don't have to give us anything, really. It's quite all right. We'll bring it to you once we've finished dating it. Thank you. My name is Giovanni. You probably already know this, but I'm a researcher. Her. I'm a re I'm researching her? What? I'm so confused. Okay, Mr. Chiamani. We'll bring you the collector's book as soon as it's completed. Oh, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it. You're researching her? Do you call books female pronouns? I don't even know anymore. Well, that's that done. The reason that that needed to be done kind of relatively, like near this point as well, is there is an actual cutoff point for that quest as well. That even if you get the 50% later, you can't do it. And then, like, you can't get the 100% one if you're going for that. So there's cutoffs there. It's just something to be aware of. We're going to King of Invention now that we've beaten some beasties and see what he's got to say. Beaten not one, but two, after all. Hmm. You mean to tell me you defeated a Medusa butterfly? I must thank you. Please take this. We got the Medusa scale. A toxic powder found on the wings of Medusa butterflies turned partially to stone if inhaled. Lovely. Why would you do that? Just leave that white powder out somewhere. No one will do that. Huh. You mean to tell me you defeated a Pterobronk? I must thank you. Please take this. Pterobronk claw. Front claw. Very sharp. So you don't want to cut your hands with it. Yes, because that's what I do when I see the sharp things. I just start prodding it in my hands going, How sharp is it? Is it the most sharp? Stabby stabby. And that's not what I do. It's not what anyone does. We're all sensible people here, right? Don't do that. 
Right then. Back to in we could go to to quickly scout it for treasure. It's a kind of a uh, uh, thing because you've got to go in all those rooms after all. But the rooms themselves are fairly short, so you could probably get in and out of there pretty fast if you did go. Why not? Let's go get it. This feels like we're clearing it out in the proper way. I really want you to answer what? The stabby stabby yourself thing? No, I just trust that you don't. You don't see sharp thing and go, ooh, how sharp is it? You just trust that it looks like it could be possibly sharp. What the hell are you? Were you normally here? This looks easy. Let us take caution. That's what I thought. Flynn, get him. It's Superstar G. And it's coming for me. Oh, we've already got a killing strike on it. No, I can't kill him strike it if you keep doing this, guys. I think he's dead. You thought you could win? Too bad. Somehow I think that guy would have given me a not nice stuff. But, uh, unfortunately, the smashing of it kind of happened and occurred. Can we just do that to break it open? Alright, let's pop some more holy balls. We're gonna need to buy some of these when we hit the shop. We still got the map? Yeah, we still got the map. And the map's more or less telling us where we haven't gone to a direction as well, so we know exactly where to break. If there's any more weird monsters, I might run out here though. Superstar G. Bang. Another room, you say? Oh, we're here. Oh, well, it's fine. We've got the magic lantern. We don't have to worry about anything. We already fell 15 billion times after all. Why worry now, eh? That's just a dead end. Okay. I was expecting some kind of treasure chest. I'll have you know. Well, that's our treasure chest we're after. But there's another thing to break through by the look of it. A pineapple gel. A hotengeki. An ancient weapon re Covered in perfect condition, the metal it is made of never rusts. It's a breakable room in a breakable room. I'm a bit worried I might just bash into something evil. There's never Superstar G. What? So can we just go all out? How's that even work? Oh, and in comes pay. In comes pay. Stats gone and condition gone, Alan. I was trying so hard to run into it to actually trigger its stuff, and then. That's really annoying. So we've got a new way down now if we're going this way. Oh, the superstar G's are everywhere here now. I'm sure my holy bottle will run out shortly. In fact, there's a way downwards and a way further along, too. In fact, there's loads of rooms we haven't been in. This place is everywhere. Interesting. No treasure chests in corners, though, just mainly monsters. Oh, well, this place had more mapping to do than you'd ever have thought. Alright, we'll take an antenna guard. Protects those important antenna, a must for any Crittian lady. Really? <laughs> really? She's got a sheet canteen, antenna guard. What does that look like? So it's just like literally something to... Just, just a sock. She's got ear socks. Okay then. We've got savory too, max DP 10. We just basically put socks on her bits. That seems so weird. Oh, my hair keeps turning pink again. Do you think these. Oh no, these areas don't join up. 
on, how much longer is this place? No treasure chests. Is this just linked round in a loop that goes upwards? No, no, no. Where the hell am I going? This place is way bigger than you before. Oh, well, there's a breakable wall. This is the dead end, so there's got to be a treasure chest in here. <laughs> Except when there doesn't got to be a treasure chest in here. Obviously. Well, I can still appreciate the map for uh, constantly saying which way we're going. Treasure chest? Mimic, right? No. Prevents all physical ailments. An amulet. That seems to be a really good thing to have found. Go into a fight where you know the enemy is going to spam you with stuff. Easy. Equip your amulet. So I guess physical... Physical is everything like... Is it poison? Is it that kind of thing? That's the, yeah, there's the question. I'm guessing it's paralysis. I'm guessing paralysis is one of them. What counts as a magical and a physical defect in terms of the debuff system? I should probably put on the uh, holy bowl again. Monsters are coming for me. These rooms are also big enough that you just feel like you can run in and out. Right, in the dead end room, there was a treasure chest. A red basil. Better than a standard basil. Nothing in that corner. Alright, only a couple more rooms here and back to him. And we'll be sorted. Oh, you should let me through to hit that at the very least. What? I didn't pick up the treasure chest there? No, it's obviously something that I've left behind because of reasons. A sage. And a verbena. Oh, the fact that Carol's actually, or if it was Carol that was mapping it, actually mapped it in the way so that we mapped all the breakable places too. Hey, there we go. See, leaving it was a great idea. And after that, it's pretty much sub-events all the way. What's behind door next? It's got to be a treasure chest in here, right? Nope. It's got to be something in that room then. <laughs> warehouse, yes, warehouse, no. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll probably one shot it. He says. A basil. And our last item, I can't even pick it up. I have been trained by knights. I to, won't lose. To beat tiny little bunnies, yes you have Estelle. Beat up the poor little bun wiggles. <laughs> They never stood a chance, did they, Bun Wiggles? I was thinking the photon would probably finish it off. Obviously not, though. Alright, there's hypertension. Why can't I open you? There we go. A poison charm prevents poison resistant to water. You got me. Ah, a map of the shrine. It's so boring looking at the same types of rooms over and over again. No way! When you make a map, you realize how everything's laid out. It's really interesting. Mm -hmm. Would you say you're happy so long as you're making a map? Yeah. Nothing calls to a man's heart like the thrill of making maps. Never had that thrill. I just need a map to show me where I'm supposed to go. <gasps> hey, wait. I still haven't written down all the places where you can find monsters. He'd do that, wouldn't he? Is that because I 100%ed out the map, maybe? Or maybe I haven't. Maybe there's a secret, 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 secret here. Superstar G. Wow, it sees you from miles away. That's quite interesting. <laughs> You're going to put Tetris music on while I do the box puzzle. I wish it was Tetris. It'd be a lot more engaging minigame, wouldn't it? Alright then, out we go. That was a lot of treasure gathering, but as you got to say, some of it were really good items. Uh, new weapons, new skills to go with it too. And just that 50% TP consumption down ring, really good. 
but now here we go. It's box puzzle time. This is where everyone's going in their heart of hearts. When is he gonna go to the thing? When's he gonna do the thing? Nordopolic is where I wanna go. Nordopolic is just over there, if I'm right and Get some more shells. Here we are. It's finally time to deal with their warehouse. Excuse me, guys. I guess you're betting again. I don't think we need to rest at the inn or anything for the time being. We're doing quite well with ourselves, beating some more gigantos and whatnot. That was the treasure hunting session. Done. But trust me, there'll be more of that. Because you got to think about it. There's those bushes and areas like Cave Mock. we got to go through them. There's more. But in general, I think we should be doing it with ulterior motives in hand. You don't want Patty anyway. Speaking of which, I'm just going to buy something here a second. Do, 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 do. That'd be good for me. Make sure I've topped up on the food, because it's the beef bowls I'm using ton of stuff from, which is probably rice as well I'm using. Let's get some more scallops, some salmon. It's nice going to these sea towns. Maybe there's tomatoes here. We can pray. Oh my god, there's tomatoes here. We can make salads again. And miso. Becca's been having this weird uh, miso soup recently. It's like a quick make miso soup. It smells like dish stuff to me. It doesn't smell that appetizing. And also, when it when it's in there, it looks like it looks like someone's done a swirly poo in the water, <laughs> like a watery. It's a really love visual form. Lovely. So I couldn't bring myself to try it. I must say. Here we go then. You wouldn't happen to be on the Bravest Barrier, would you? Yes, we are. Bravest Barrier is who we are. Our warehouse is flooded with new shipments, and we haven't been able to tidy it up. We heard tidying up warehouses is your speciality. Can you help us out? Um, yes. Sure, we'll take good care of it. All right then, I'm counting on you. Fourth out of fifth. Here we go. Where am I going? Well, I'm not being given much of a choice to start off with, am I? Do I want to push this this way? Oh, okay. Right. Do I go over there or not? I'm thinking putting this down here so I can go across the other way. Because I want to unlock that other box on that side. Because then I can move that to wherever. And I've got access at the very least. But I can't get that box out unless I do that, right? So what we first need is just access to have a look around. There's a chest there. Now I can pull this one out and do whatever I want with it. Oh, wow. I've got actual... Oh. Oh, come on! Okay, just here. That's a lot of boxes. That one looks just easily gettable to with those boxes, though. So do I need these boxes at all? Oh, here we go. Those things. Right, so I need one box to go in here, but I also need one box to enable me to cross upwards. Oh, that's well, uh, Start seems to be the most important part here. Oh, no, wait. If I put this box into there, I can pull this box down, then round, and then I can put it in the gap, right? Maybe this one's a bit more simpler. It seems to be a bit more straightforward. Like, that's how you reach the other box. Alright, and here is a specific type of fruit. There's a second floor, yes. We know this is going to go well when you see that. And it seems no matter what, I have to use the second floor to progress from here. The other chest is up top there. There's only one box near it. Okay. Oh, yeah, I need to be on it. <laughs> 
So, if we're putting anything anywhere, it feels like something needs to go here. I keep trying to get through the gaps, thinking Carol's small enough to fit. It's fine. Alright, where does that land? Oh, so that lands in that box hole. Um... Oh, here's the real question though. Which boxes do I move to get it in there? Shall I move these two? Because this one can be moved pretty much anywhere afterwards. Yeah, that works. Now I can pull that one out and actually manipulate it. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's landed in that hole. Which now enables me to see this box. Do I want to go up there or do I want to go along? I don't need to put a bowl there, do I? Or do I? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Let's go this way. Let's put another box down because it will land here. Then I can push it one space, then I can pull it down and pull it into this spot now, I think. Yeah, because I pull it down one, no, I pull it up, then I can push it up and then I can push it, yeah. Ah! Everyone loving the music. Boxes ahoy. The thing, when there's second floor as well, you can only really drop boxes one at a time because you don't know which ones you'll need. Which sucks. Alright, so if I push that there, then pull it down twice, then pull it up, then push it this way. It's a lot of manipulation. I can get it to go over so I can have a look over the other side. Still can't get through there though. Right, are you going in there because then you'll be out the way? And then that goes over to there? Not like I can push that box somewhere, is it? Do I get you out of the way or not? Well, we always consider the first try the scouting option, yeah? So that goes there. By the way, isn't this chest incredibly easy to get to? Looks like none of these boxes are usable except for being put in. So you can't pull them off and do anything else. Because you can't pull this guy up here because this is there. I mean, that's the chest, so that's fine. So now we got to work a way to get here. Which you have to get that way from the top. Because you can't get a box around there unless there's a hole that drops it in behind that white box to get from the side. So you have to go in for the top. The music's fine. You like it, do you? Oh, here we go. I'm glad I can push you. What else am I doing here? So this is... One, two, three, and four down from there. And oh, then we've got that hole there. Which pretty much that box at the top there can only go in. Or do I want that box for anything? Ah! Well, that's a long, far away one. So when I chuck a box down, it's going to land in this hole here. Guessing that'll be fine. Well, which box do I want to chuck in there? Can't use this box or anything, can I? That box is a dead box. Can I just chuck this box in? I mean, actually, I could just push this box down here. And I can pull that box out and put it in there. Oh no, I can't. 
Oh, I can if I get rid of this spot. Uh, whatever. Can I? Uh oh. This is where I might be failing it. Where's this box going? I can't pull it into there or I get trapped. Why does this box seem completely useless? No, oh, well, let's see where that one landed. And we've got most of it done, to be honest. I imagine that's probably as simple as that. Alright, so that landed there. Which means I could drop boxes down that hole now and pull them into a different position if I drop this box here. Which means I could I just need three boxes there. So it might be take a bit of up and downing. So like for example, I could push all three of these box no, I can only push one box in there. Or can I? this one out at all. In before all this is usual messes up the easiest puzzle in the game. Oh, go me. Hey, the first try is the scouting try. Oh no, I only need two boxes. Don't I? No, I need three. If I could get one there, then I'd be done, right? Is there another box I can get from somewhere? I can't get over, yeah. Alright. I can't get that into there. I can only get that into there. Three and four down. Where does this box land? Wait a second, three and four down lands there. So all I do is pull it out and put it in there, right? That is right, right? I think I've got it. Maybe. Maybe in the one try. That can only go there. And that can only go there. Here's where I accidentally landed a block on top of a block. Yeah, that's fine. So all I need to do is I can put one block here. Push the next block on there. Which ones do I want to pull to where though? I think it's safest to just put it at the very top, to be honest. Yeah, let's do it. You're missing the logic, maybe? I don't know. I'm missing a lot of things out of my brain. But essentially, as long as I get there, I'm done, yeah? I did it! Let's try! <laughs> and without taking a billion years ish. Thanks, I appreciate it. Here's a little something for you. Quite 2k gold, is that all? <laughs> Thanks, Brave Vesperia! That's who we are. Yes, yes. Hey, did you just say that Brave Vesperia just now? Did you not? Just what is that supposed to mean? Well, it's whatever you like for it to mean. <laughs> I thought so. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We're a bit confused.